Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. On average, there's 20 shark attacks every single year in the Florida waters. I've lived in Miami my entire life, never seen a shark. So I'm on a mission to find a shark in Miami. I think it's a great mission. Join me for Miami Shark Week. So I set out on Miami Beach to find out what the locals had to say about sharks. Have you ever seen a shark? Um, no. Never? If you guys had a pet shark, what would you name it? Pookie! <laughs> Have you ever had a fantasy that included a shark in it? I was a shark. You were a shark in a fantasy? Yeah. What, yeah. what happened? I was just like a boss at like everywhere. Do you know anything about sharks at all? Not at all. You know nothing about sharks? No. Okay. This is going to be a good interview then. Can you guys give me your best impression of a shark? You first. Next, I met with a man who punches sharks in the face for a living. Mark the Shark. The Shark Hunter. A Miami charter boat captain who habitually hunts for what he calls monster sharks. Mark? Yes? Thanks for doing this. Mark? <laughs> thanks for doing the interview. I th all right. So, uh, how long have you been hunting sharks? Uh, about 35, 35 years or so. I don't know, Miami. So I set out on the high seas with Mark in search of a shark. Are you? Are you? Are you wearing Gucci Rush for men? What did sharks ever do to you? Always been intrigued by the uh, the sharkus. By the sharkus. They're all over the place. They're That's its technical name, by the way. Sharkus. The sharkus. That's my job. That's what I was born to do, catch sharks. When did you know you were born to, to catch uh, sharks? Out of the womb, I think. Yeah? Yes, yes. You just uh, popped out and you're like, let's kill a shark right now. start reading about sharks and videos about sharks, just like my son does now. I've never seen a hammerhead that close before. That one's going on the wall. So what's your life philosophy? Do you have one? Catch as many sharks as I can before I die. My life philosophy is catch the least amount of colds as possible. They're inconvenient and I have a lot of vitamin C in my diet. So I'll probably reach the goal. Do you remember the first shark you ever caught? No. You don't. I remember a lot of firsts that I can't say <laughs> on camera. <laughs> Your first bowl of macaroni and cheese? Yeah, yeah, roger that, roger that. I'm here, at the pier. Did you name the shark after you caught it? Oh, uh, I'll uh, uh, name it T-Bone. T-Bone? T-Bone. Okay. But sharks don't have any bones. Like a, a bull shark? Bull shark? Yeah. No, the beer shark, that's a good one. Yeah. Those are good ones, <laughs> I like those. Uh, what yeah. about Mako sharks? Mako? Mako. Ah, oh, that's a Mako. <laughs> what about the great white shark? Ah, uh, the Great white shark. Oh, yeah. Next, I sat down with this man, Miami's own world renowned shark scientist, Dr. Samuel H. Gruber. You're kind of a badass in the shark world. If you look on the Wikipedia page for lemon sharks, I don't know if you're aware of this, it basically thanks you for have, giving us, the world, almost all its knowledge on lemon sharks. So I ask you, Doc Ruger, blondes or brunettes? Asians. Sharks give live birth. Sharks give live birth. Big deal. These babies grow up inside the mother. The, the mothers protect these babies, and they produce only a few young. It makes the conservation of sharks more akin to the conservation of whales than it does to fishes. Do you ever walk into a bar and go up to a lady and say, what does your husband do? He sells carpets? 
I've been at the bottom of the ocean all day, riding hammerheads. Mm. Can I buy you a drink? Mm, yes, uh, before I was married. Most shark attacks in Florida are bull sharks. Okay. okay. They love warm, shallow waters. Bull sharks like to just attack you like a bull and just tear your flesh right oh off of your body. God. Probably take a leg off. Flesh and they drag you down to the depths of the ocean. And then they just continue to slowly eat you while you're alive. So, okay. so just keep I'll that in mind Thank you. while you guys are vacationing on sunny Miami Beach. Cool. Thank you very much. Back on Striker 1, the crew was still hunting for a shark. That's disgusting. Somebody get a shirt on her. That's one way you could do it. I'd use a different bait if I was you. So I know you've taken out celebrities out on your boat. Tons. Who, who was the most cowardly? Uh, I would say Robin Williams. De Niro's a close second. He's not such a tough guy, huh? Yeah, I think he's tough uh, on film and, you know, on paper, but... Uh... I like your rod. Yeah. You know what happened to the last guy that said that to me? What? Remember the first time you ever caught a shark? I was probably around uh, five or six years old off of uh, Long Island, New York, with my dad in a little boat and caught a little thresher shark and uh, put him in a boat, maybe a three or four footer, and uh, never forgot that day actually. It was pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. What are the chances, percentage wise? If I were to go to the beach right now, hop in the water, what are the chances percentage-wise that a great white is going to eat me? I wonder what kind of great white we're talking about, because there ain't any around here. What would be a good defense? Strike it in the nards, maybe? What is your stance on shark fishing, like a charter boat that goes out and fishes sharks for tourists? Are you familiar with this Mark the Shark? I know Mark the Shark personally very well. Yeah. Okay. And, and I actually worked with him before he went over to the dark side. I have no problem with them catching sharks for, uh, for sport and fun. Mm -hmm. My problem is killing them for no reason at all. Stay tuned for Beach Miami Shark Week Part 2, where I'll come face to face with a sharkus. It's going to be pretty good, I think. Hey, Mark, I think you could fit, like, you could probably fit one more jaw right here in this area.